Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Just uh, bring you guys a quick post fight thoughts video of the uh, Alicia the Bomb Bomb Gardener versus Edith Soledad Matisse. They recently fought over in the UK in the undercard of the uh, Connor Ben uh, versus Chris Van Heerden fight. Fight was shown live on the zone. You can watch the full fight on the zone or you can watch the highlights here on YouTube. The highlights was pretty long actually. It pretty much uh, showed the whole entire fight. But uh, yeah, fight was scheduled for 10 rounds. It was a very last minute fight too because the fight was announced a week before the fight. Um, yeah, very last minute. I don't know why Eddie Hearn um, couldn't just find a better opponent for Alicia Bob Garner and uh, added her into the undercard of the uh, uh, Serrano versus Katie Taylor event because I think that would have been better for Bob Garner to... Uh, Put her on the spotlight in a big card like that but you know she fought last minute she was added last minute into this card and she fought against matisse who failed to make weight going into this fight and can't blame her because like i said the fight was announced a week before the fight and uh bob garner basically boxed throughout the whole entire fight round after round did a good job moving around hit and run hit and run um there was a moment where she, there, she had moments where she was aggressive and honestly i felt like if she was be a little bit more aggressive she probably would have gotten the stoppage win but you never know in the sport of boxing anything's possible you don't want to get hit and next thing you know you get knocked out so she she kind of played it safe for the most part um and you can tell too matisse looks slow in comparison to mom garner but anyway all the three judges gave uh alicia every single round 100 to 90 and uh, Baumgartner, uh, Alicia, successfully defended her WBC and IBO Super Featherweight titles. And with this win, Alicia improves to 12-1. and one, Seven wins coming by way of knockout TKO. Her uh, popularity is slowly rising. She's getting more and po more popular. Uh, if you follow her on social media, her, her following has increased a lot uh, this past year. Uh, especially after her win against Terry Harper. Uh, Alicia has also been in... Uh, in a lot of the zone shows where she's on ringside uh, doing inter like doing commentary and um, you know being interviewed so she, her popularity is slowly rising and she thinks she's the a side when it comes to um, Michaela Mayer because obviously what's next for Baumgartner is to unify to get more belts and uh, people are talking about Michaela Mayer they, they keep calling each other out on social media uh, Michaela Mayer currently holds the IBF and WBO belts um, and Alicia thinks she's the A-side in that one. I'm not sure about that. I mean, I, I like Alicia. I, I, I like her a lot. But she she has yet to achieve what Michaela Mayer has achieved. And Mayer already has proved, you know, she got those two belts. And if Alicia doesn't want to fight Mayer, you know, then fine. You know, if there's arguments about who's the A-side, B-side, okay. I understand that. Um, if you want to prove yourself that you're more of the A-side, try to get this fight right here against Hyun Mi Choi. Hyun Mi Choi is an undefeated fighter from South Korea. Um, I'll show you how she looks like to those who don't know how, who she is. She's with the Zone and Matchroom, so it shouldn't be a f it shouldn't be a hard fight to make. It should be an easy fight to make. Um, she hasn't fought since September of last year in in Korea. I don't know if she can, you know, leave Korea to to fight, but I think she can. And if she can, then Let's see Hyunmi Choi versus Alicia Baumgartner for uh, two belts on the line. And then the winner will fight Michaela Mayer uh, to become undisputed at 130 pounds. So, um, and that's what I'm hoping. And as for Matisse, uh, she suffers her 12th loss in her pro career at the age of 41 years old. Like I said, very last minute fight. Props to her for, for signing the contract. Um, very last minute. But, man, it they should have... Eddie Hearn should have done better planning. It was so last minute. It was honestly just more of a stay busy fight for Alicia Baumgartner. So, it is what it is. Good job on the win. A win is a win. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.